people have been displaced. Some have been injured. And those that have not been so lucky have died. Kapere Biong is one of the districts in Teso sub-region that has suffered in the hands of cattle rustlers from Karamoja. The recent interventions by government have yielded serious results. The raids have stopped. So we've not had any record or report of any animals being taken away. Um, there are still a number of areas where a few are sneaking into the community and they beat people, they try to steal things like chicken, uh, that kind of stuff. But in terms of animals, that has completely stopped. This milestone has been a result of recent deployment of about 200 soldiers. Anthony Esenu, the member of parliament for Kapere Bion County, now wants such deployment strengthened with a full army battalion. We have requested and have prepared a place where we want the government to put a, a permanent military barracks. And these barracks, we believe, would help to reduce the distance that the soldiers have to travel. Right now, we have two main uh, points at which we pick soldiers. The main one has been from Matany, that is in Napak district. That's where there is a main barracks. Now, from people to come from Matany and respond to a problem in Kapelebiong, it's very, very, very far. By the time they arrive there, the, the wrestlers have already disappeared and vanished into the what? Into Karamoja. For purposes of sustainability, to enable full resumption of business in the area, there is need to employ short-term, mid-term and long-term interventions. Here are some of the suggestions. Let's work on the roads. Let's work on water supply. Let's work on the proper schools. Let's work on giving more money because guys have been displaced for some of them even 30, 40 years. They've just come back to their homes. Let's give them social capital, economic, to start up so that they can begin to build their wealth. Going forward, there is a call for a second disarmament in Karamoja and sensitization of cattle wrestlers as some of the long-term interventions. Whereby government through the UPDF will ensure that there is enough deployment of soldiers on the ground at every point where we think and we find out that raiders are going to collect animals from the neighborhood and go back to their hideouts. We need to make the whole of Uganda totally insecure for any raider. The challenge of cattle wrestling has been a cause for worry in the public domain in the recent months. The vice could be dealt a permanent blow if the ongoing interventions by government are sustained. Henry Okrut, UBC.